Hey guys, so today, since I found my old clown nose, I decided I wanted to make a scary clown prosthetic mouth sort of thing. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did it. So I took this mix of liquid latex and flour and used this on my face cast and just applied it all around my mouth area. It was pretty spur of the moment. Um, I ended up doing quite a few layers. I think I did between three to five layers of this stuff and I let it dry overnight. And then I went inside of the mouth area with some more of the latex and flour and put that inside of the mouth part because I wanted to add teeth and stuff. And I let all that dry and it turned yellow when it dries so you know it's dry. Anyway, that's the teeth I made out of clay. And then here is where I mixed the latex and flour. I needed more to put down to hold the teeth inside of the mouth. And that's basically all I did. I really didn't measure it or anything. I just kind of wanted it. I knew what kind of consistency I wanted. It's kind of thick. Like that. But I tried to do about equal parts of each. So anyway, I made the teeth out of this clay. I, it's air dry clay. And then I just put some of the flour and latex mix down inside the mouth to hold the teeth in and also to kind of act as gums because I wanted to paint a little bit to make it look like gums, to look a little bit more realistic, sort of. And yeah, I prefer to use the clay for the teeth. It looked a lot better than I thought it would than uh, using like fingernails or anything like that. The teeth look a little bit more realistic to me and it was like it was a lot easier to paint. And that was the main reason why I used clay because I figured painting it would be a lot easier and better than using plastic or anything like that. And I was pretty much just winging this whole thing. It kind of just, the idea just kind of popped in my head and I figured I wanted to do this. So that's what I did. And I just used one of my spatulas and kept going in, adding teeth. I did move a few around because some of them didn't quite fit where I wanted them to. And then I painted it, of course, just using some regular old paint. And then I added a uh, Mod Podge on top of that just for a shine and also to protect it um, for when I was like handling it trying to apply it I didn't want the paint to rub off or anything and I just used regular acrylic paint because I had more colors in the acrylic paint than anything else and I also think I used a bit of my face paint as well um, for the teeth because I ran out of white acrylic paint so I just used some of my face paint for that too and of course I had to make the teeth look kind of dirty and grimy. And there it is, the end result. It took me about a week to do this just because I wanted to make sure it all dried and everything and I really wanted to take my time with it. So anyway, I used Prose to apply it because this thing was pretty heavy because of the amount of layers I put on it. Note to self, I really didn't need that many layers. I could have just done like two layers maybe and it would have been fine like one or two um, but like I said it was my first time doing this so I just kind of packed it on there but it is super durable though honestly like I've taken this thing off and reapplied it several times so I really I wanted to make something that I could keep and this is actually something I can keep and reuse many many times and I use Prose because it has a stronger hold than uh, Spirit Gum or anything. So, and I went in with some liquid latex to try to like blend it into my skin. And I'm just using a disposable sponge to do that. I'm just going all around.
And I did about three layers of the liquid latex around. And then I went on top of that after it dried, of course, with some makeup. I just kept blending that in. And then I decided to use my bruise wheel and add some bruising around the mouth. And I, I just kind of wanted to make it look a little bit like, a little grimier, I guess. And I have better pictures of this whole thing on my Instagram. But mostly I just wanted to try my hand at making a prosthetic. That I can actually reuse. So that's what I did. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, I saw some things I know I could do over next time. Well, like I said, it was kind of heavy. Like it took a good bit of rosé for it to stay on, but yeah. Just used fewer layers than I did, because I used a lot. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that is everything. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!